Thank you, Mr. Wastier and our learners from Spine Road High. Now, when it comes to school holiday jobs, this man's had a job for as long as I can remember. Brandon Yates now joins us, keeping track of all of the youth sporting results. Yes, you set the scene for us on Friday, a huge amount happening at the moment. Where do we begin? Should we start with some golf this morning? Yeah, Brandon Stone, he is, I mean, we consider him a youth. He's 23 years old, so he's the same age as me. And he claimed a seven-stroke victory at the Alfred Dunhill Championships yesterday. And he finished um, first ahead of Richard Stoney, so a 1-2 for South Africa. An amazing achievement for our South African golfers. A beautiful message to send going into the festive season break yeah. as well. Especially with all of those youngsters coming through as well. You know, the, the guys that we've um, been speaking about in the weeks uh, past, you know, it's, it gives them a really great message going forward. Yep, motivation, motivation to the core. Yeah. Um, Then swimming champs at the moment, diving, taking centre stage, as you said last week. Yeah. Yes, the World Championships just happened in Russia and they finished yesterday. And Team South Africa didn't perform really well in terms of medal standings, but they definitely went out and made South Africa proud. Our highest finisher was Elizabeth van Holfarben and she she finished 24th in the preliminary round. So, um, you know, we sent quite a big team down there and they competed against some of the best divers in the world. And, you know, no medals claimed, but they definitely uh, put their hearts out there yeah. and they did relatively well. And an essential experience, I think, you know, as we work towards the next Olympic. Hopefully exactly. this is starting. And that, they're all youngsters. Train. They're all 14, 15 year olds, you know, so they've got a uh, long road ahead of them. So it's a good start for them to start competing on the international stage at such a young age. Speaking of international stage, Afi's netball, we were hoping that they're going to dominate, give yes. the rest of the world a taste of what they give South yeah. African teams. They still managed to finish fourth. They did relatively well there. Brilliant. And this was at an international youth sports challenge in Singapore. So they were competing against the best schools in the world and they still managed to come fourth. So, you know, obviously netball isn't a sport that Uffies is, I'm pretty sure we all know what Uffies <laughs> is known for, uh, but clearly it's another sport where they do pretty well. I mean, to finish fourth at a global competition is a Some impressive ladies are going to be waiting for you outside the studio, <laughs> dude, yeah. and, not, and not in a nice way, fist, not a nice clinch. way. <laughs> um, then the Table Tennis World Champs has been wowing everyone taking place here in SA. Absolutely. I mean, what a pleasure to host such a fantastic international competition and to have some South Africans competing there. Um, it came to conclusion for Team South Africa yesterday, and we finished 19th, uh, the last team that we played was Fiji and we defeated them so we managed to claim that 19th spot and to finish top 20 in the world in a sport that is traditionally not our strong point is very impressive. Yeah and some big guns came to the tournament as well hopefully. Yeah the, the best players in the world yeah. Um, we'll host it again they take us through very quickly any other results scanning. So the SA under 21 hockey girls they lost to New Zealand in their final match and they managed to finish 14th at the world championships which is also pretty impressive and then Team South Africa competing at the, uh, the Swimming World Championships in Canada, and that starts tomorrow. And as we know, um, South Africa are the reigning African championship, uh, champions in swimming. So hopefully we can go and do well on the global stage. Yep, so well done to everyone who achieved over the weekend. Well done to you, sir, for keeping an eye yes. on all of that. And as always, we'd love to hear from you. Maybe not Uffies this morning. <laughs> now we love you guys. Well done on all of those amazing achievements. Keep hitting us up on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. Let us know which teams, which schools we should be keeping an eye on.